First of all, I would like to talk about the design, features, performance and the camera test. The first impression when I opened this little box was encouraging round edged 6.0 inches full high definition 1080 by 2160 pixels huge display dual cameras in both sides Face ID unlock 6 gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of ROM For better or for worse this phone is very heavy thanks to battery 6300 mAh with quick charge 3.0 I would say this phone will suit people for those who often on the way so they don't have to carry power bank or was stuck next to the power outlets Also with such performance of this phone games get more fun and enjoyable If you are a gamer this phone can be your budget and good choice Oculus Key 6, 6 gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of memory storage. However, if it's not enough, you can also insert a TV card up to 128 gigabytes. Back screen, long battery life, dual SIM card slot, dual back camera. To own all of this only costs you 80 bucks. Since the battery here is removable, First, we have to remove a tab from the battery contacts. The phone has 5.3 inches screen and it feels solid, mostly because of the weight with around 184 grams. It's a bit heavier compared to other phones, but still comfortable. Probably people with conservative background will love this feeling on their hands. Antutu shows around 30,000 points. The 5.3 inch screen has HD resolution and supports two active touches. What about the three touches? Well, you can move but slide down to take a screenshot. The phone has a dual camera and supports SLR mode. In my opinion, it's kind of crazy because it allows you to take pictures with DSLR level bokeh effects.